get the gloves. Hello everyone and welcome back to Scooping Poop with Vivian. My name is Vivian Tao and this is a channel where I help educate you on exotic animals and help you make the best decisions for your pets. So if you like what my channel is about, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell. So today is a very special video because we have a package from Rainbow Mealworms that we will be unboxing. <laughs> Guys, we're all gonna die. A quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. However, Rainbow Mealworms were kind enough to send this package to me for free. But of course, all opinions are my own and I'm not being paid or held at gunpoint to say anything. So without further ado, let's unbox everything. Okay, so this is the best I can position my camera because my tripod is a piece of crap, but that's okay. So as you can see, it comes in this nice beautiful box that says live animals. I probably shouldn't have done that. Wow, we have newspaper. So the first thing that we are getting are hornworms. So essentially hornworms are wonderful feeder insects because they are so filled with nutrients and tons and tons of moisture. There are 12 hornworms in here and as you can see, they are tiny. These are tiny little babies, but they will grow super duper big. So I'm very excited to have some of these. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next item we have are wax worms. So this is what the container looks like. 50 wax worms. Yee, they're so beautiful. So wax worms are essentially uh, kind of like maggots, <laughs> but these make wonderful treats for reptiles. Emphasis on treats because they are high in fat. And as you can see in the container, every single wax worm is alive, which is amazing. Cause how many times do you go to a pet store and you open a container and they're all black? Say hello, little friend. Hello. So next up in another container, we have phoenix worms. Now, phoenix worms are also known as black soldier fly larvae or calci worms. And the reason why these are so great is because they are a very healthy worm. They're packaged a little bit differently in this eco earth looking solution. It smells very earthy, not a bad smell, but it definitely smells like soil. So this is what one of them looks like. They vary in colorations. They're very similar to the wax worms, but these are much healthier. And plus their calcium to phosphorus ratio is balanced meaning that you do not have to dust these at all when you feed them. Next up, we have some mealworms. So mealworms obviously are a classic. Most people know what they look like. In this container, we have over 250 live mealworms. I already have 500 of these at home, so I need to definitely start feeding them off because we're getting way too many mealworms. Ooh, so I'm really excited for this one. These are my favorite feeder insects. We have 20 medium dubia roaches. Packaged really nicely with egg crates. Dubia roaches are one of the healthiest options you can offer your reptiles. So I'm very happy about this. So here's the thing that's a little bit creepy. Um, we have 250 super worms. And instead of being packaged in a container, they are actually put into this um, bag and it's filled with newspaper. and. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but you can hear them. There are 250 super worms and we will be opening them up really quickly. Worms, 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 Dwight Schrute, worms, 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 worm, worms. Oh, and by the way, when I reached out to them, they originally asked me to pick a combo pack on their website and I chose the bearded dragon one. But then they were lovely enough to actually send me a couple of extra items. So the first extra we have is bedding. This is basically a bag filled with bedding meant for mealworms. So when I transfer the superworms to a different container, they will have bedding in order to crawl around in. Next, they sent me five feeding dishes. Now these are basically just really simple plastic dishes that you can put your bugs in and the rim goes around the inside so that the bugs cannot crawl out. Very, very convenient, especially for feeding animals like leopard geckos. Worm worms. I am worm. 
Please stop killing my family. And this bonus made me super happy. We have some Rapashi Grub Pie. Please focus. Yeah, Rapashi is my favorite brand of commercial reptile food. They're pretty much the only acceptable brand in my opinion. This is basically a powder that you mix with hot water and it forms a jelly that you can offer as a treat to reptiles. And that is all the animals we have in the box. So now I'm going to go set up the temporary enclosures for all of these bugs, but thank you so, so much, Rainbow Mealworms. To set up the Dubia roaches, I have a small plastic container and I already have some in there. I have toilet paper roll, and so what I did is that I just took the egg crate, put them in there, and then put the new Dubia roaches in. Afterwards, I provided them with water crystals and tons of fresh veggies. For my super worms, I had three containers that look exactly like this. They're filled with bedding and I quite literally just scoop them in by the handful. These super worms are very active and as you can see, they are living in the bedding that they provided. Essentially what I'll do is put a piece of vegetable in there every couple of days and that should be good. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. So those were all the insects that I received from Rainbow Mealworms. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have them linked in the description box. It's not an affiliate link, I just want you guys to know of this wonderful source. In case you guys didn't know, I'm starting to do weekly shoutouts in all of my videos. And this week's shoutout goes to Neko Tegan Kranz. Neko Tegan Krantz? I've never said usernames out loud before. This is a little bit weird. But anyways, this person gets a shout out because they have been posting literal stories <laughs> in my comment section and it's hilarious and adorable. So thank you so much, that is your shout out. If you want to be featured in one of my videos, all you have to do is comment below, just comment anything, make sure you're subscribed and also follow me on Instagram at Scooping Poop. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps out so, so much with the YouTube algorithm. And also comment down below, what is your favorite feeder insect? Cause mine are dubia roaches. I, I, I really like them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video I make. Bye. This light looks good. Ooh, thumbnail time. God is dead. <laughs>